Collectors of Birmingham stove and range cast iron have been arguing over one tiny detail on the pans that uh, helps to identify the age of the pans, sort of, and that would be the pore spouts, also called the ears. We've learned that pans from the early days of BSNR, when they had their hand-scribed markings on them, tended to have much larger ears. But when they standardized the design of their pans and gave it a more modern look, the ears actually became somewhat smaller. Now, this wasn't always the case. There were certainly exceptions to this, but in general, it can be seen that uh, pans from the uh, 1940s all the way up to the 1960s or so from BSNR tended to have much smaller pore spouts like this one. Whereas this unusual 3S skillet from the earlier Red Mountain days had definitely had much larger pore spouts. The problem is that no evidence has really been found to determine if the difference in the ears actually coincided with the relabeling of the entire BSNR pan from Red Mountain to Century Cookware. So while this number eight size pan could have been produced anywhere from the 1940s all the way up to the 1960s, we can't tell if this actually had a label on it that said Red Mountain or Century Cookware. And just as important, no records have been found yet as far as marketing or shipping or anything that determines if the change to these smaller pore spouts occurred during the time or after the time when they started putting the Century Cookware label on all of their pans. While these hand-scribed size markings on the older BSNR pans are not especially hard to find, the Red Mountain pans with these more standardized markings are definitely far more common and can be found just about anywhere even today. And this suggests that they must have been produced for a long time, again, certainly before the 1950s when they actually changed over to Century Cookware. And so while this number eight pan may very well have had a Century Cookware label on it, we can't be absolutely sure. And there is still a chance, however small, that this may indeed have had a label on it that said Red Mountain.